Nej. 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 Hi everyone from and repeat. <laughs> My name is Jessica. <laughs> and today I'm here with what's your name? Who I are you? <laughs> Why you're here? Just, you what tell are you me. doing here? <laughs> <laughs> no, my name is Shu. And we are sitting here and discussing with you the updates, Android updates for all the devices. The yeah. update policy of the manufacturers. It's video. a really, really odd topic, yeah? Yeah. We have to say that because if you are an Android user, you you know what you have to face. There is a magic word which is wait. You will have to wait, always. Uh, not on every manufacturer. <coughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can wait two months, three months, four months, six months if you have a Samsung phone because if you have an S8 in your pocket, I'm sure that you are still waiting to see Oreo, no? It could be, but at least I'm looking at it on the longer term. Mm -hmm. If you are watching what is going on, what has been going on in the several years in the past, it's like, okay, uh, 2015 in the summer, Samsung was ignoring all the updates somehow and just pushing them out when it's done, when it's done. Um, and then suddenly somehow they started with beta testing yeah. of Nougat. And last Finally. year, December, also beta testing of Oreo. So it's getting better for Samsung. Yeah, we have to look at the good things, no? Just to yeah. avoid uh, starting to think, okay, maybe we should switch to Apple. We, we have to recognize that it's the best, the best example talking about software updates. Yeah. It's true. But, you know, the, the Android update is like, uh, I don't know, it's a long process. No, we start with, usually with the Google I.O., when we yeah. have the first hint about the, um, the new Android version. And then you say, okay, it's the end of May, beginning of June, two more months, it's summer, let's enjoy the sun. Mm. And then the new version of, of Android is coming. Yeah. And then you will know the name, all the new features and so on. It's like a little bit like when you have like the chocolate uh, Easter egg in front of you. Yeah, so you are so excited. Mm. Let's see what, what inside the package. But then you take your phone and even when you, you already know that the Android version is official, you will just realize that you will have to wait. And then you check the uh, smartphone manufacturer website and you are looking for some info like when I will get uh, Oreo in this case. And then you will just have to wait because this is the truth. You yeah. have to wait a little bit when some Maybe manufacturer a little, a bit, little more. bit more. <laughs> yeah. Or even more or you're not getting any updates anymore because your smartphone is totally outdated and the manufacturer is not going to do any efforts anymore to update that via the software. So um, there are reasons which are, I think, um, okay reasons. If that device is too old, your experience would be not the same like on the former version of Android. So then the decision is that, yeah, just don't update that. Keep it in the status like it is at the latest version and just run it for eternity. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that um, all software updates needs to go through some kind of process. Yeah, yeah. it's a really long process because everything yeah. always starts with uh, Google. Mm. So, but even when Google released the source code, then there are the manufacturers, they have to check everything. Then they have to talk with the chip uh, makers mm. just to understand which smartphones are able to get the update. Yeah. And then there are the carriers like Verizon, T-Mobile, talking about mm. US, for example, because they also have to talk with the manufacturer just to decide, okay, I want, for example, my own app in the system. So they have to add um, some new feature or personalize right. the, the system, the software again and then there are a lot of tests tests that we need actually to do that to avoid to have like a super buggy <laughs> software yeah. version but then it's about the carrier has to do their tests the manufacturers have to do the same then we have specific authorities uh, organization mm -hmm. that they have to do the same and then finally we will get the android version on our phone Unless, as, as Jerome Johnson say, if you root your phone, then you don't have any problem. You can just get right away 
Yeah, yeah but it's rooting is um, at least for the normal uh, users out there who are just buying their phones and wants to have the OTA updates. Um, not that easy. No, 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 no. I and mean, you need some experience. And, yeah, uh, and you have to find the correct version um, of firmware and stuff like that. Just to imagine what differences you're um, facing when you are a smartphone manufacturer and having a couple of devices there. There are the chipsets. So where I've got MediaTek in the low end section, where I've got Qualcomm, different kind of Snapdragon processors. We have got, um, at least on the global scale, Samsung Exynos uh, chipsets, and then also Huawei yeah. chipsets. Okay, Huawei can at least uh, do their own thing because they are mostly doing um, the complete stuff in-house. In -house, yeah. yeah. But also the difference in the components uh, uh, determine it also the fact that sometimes the updates arrive first in some countries compared to other ones. So when the yeah. users say, but why the Russian users are already like playing with Oreo and we are not, there is a reason, the components plus the carriers also. Because yeah. every carrier uh, decide to apply some uh, um, different apps or in way changes, it, which means that they need more time to work on the software version, yeah. the final one. That's why we have to wait. Of course, from one brand to the other, there are some um, differences. Yeah, and, and there, there are exceptions. Um, at least on the bad side, Motorola is getting worse. On yeah. the update it was side. one of the best examples yeah. before. <clears throat> before. Yeah, before mm. a Chinese company took over, um, when it was still in uh, Google hands. Um, there was uh, the change now. Now, yeah, at least on some certain devices, I think the, X, uh, the Z2-4s um, got the Oreo update and some other Z2 models have it already. Um, another good example is uh, Sony. At least the top range or the new devices, this is the XZ2. Mm -hmm. which was introduced on the CES 2018, so this year in January. And it comes already out of the box with Android Oreo 8.0 and the security patch level on January. Yeah. So this is also exceptional or at least not that common that some manufacturers delivers on a mid-range phone Android Oreo. Yeah, yeah. And also the security patch are really, really important beside the software version. So we have another example <laughs> on our table. Uh, we have another example. This is the Honor View 10, which is, uh, I think, still not yet available in the US. No, it's not. Um, it is, has got Android Oreo on it yeah. with Emu UI 8.0. Yeah. But the security patch level is from November. <laughs> So that's kind of a, it, we cannot say that it's a bad example anyway. Eh? Oreo is I running. Say bad, no. but it's, it's a normal example. It's not the best example. Yeah, it? it's not the best example. A better example would be then the exact uh, uh, one compact from Sony. This one was released last year. Um, I think it was after IFA 2018, so September. Um, this one has got. Android 8.0 update. It was delivered with, no, it was uh, already with uh, 8.0 um, in, in, in the factory, the default version, and uh, it has the January security patch level. Yeah. They are getting pretty fast. Okay, for the US, there's another mm, limitation to Sony. Um, the fingerprint sensor is not working. Yeah. yeah. Why? Nobody knows know. really. Know that. Um, that seems to be that there was in the past somehow a deal with some other manufacturer that was yeah. signed off and then exclusivity and so on and so on. Um, but I think the US version of the XA2 will come with the activated fingerprint sensor now. Let's so, cross the fingers. 
Yeah. But also talking about uh, Sony, uh, mm. yesterday on the Xperia blog, we saw yeah. that Sony just announced the um, um, software update policy, which actually is nothing new because they just say, no. okay, the new flagship uh, will uh, get the updates for two years. But with the you know middle range phones, it's not super clear. Then you have to check model by model. But right. it's also true that Sony usually make everything clear in the website. So yeah. you will know soon if your phone will get the update. And usually yeah. they're pretty fast doing that. So we just have... to give um, some some insights there, or at least my best guess is there. Um, the XA, XA2 has got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 in there. The model from last year, the XA1, was delivered with the MediaTek chipset. I doubt that those MediaTek chips from last year can be, at or at least can handle Android Oreo when it comes to the manufacturers. Okay, there are maybe root versions or, or, or other custom ROMs out there which can handle that, but at least the manufacturer wouldn't spend that much attention on those kind mm. of stuff. Well, maybe we can play a game with the users. We can ask you guys just to leave a comment mm, to game. let us know, <laughs> to let us know which phone you have in your pocket and which version of Android are you running at the moment, and also the security patch. Because we know that at the, as actually not at the <coughs> moment, but at the beginning of January, only yeah. the 0.7 percent of the devices uh, were running uh, Oreo. Maybe now we. We got the f one percent. We are not sure about that. We have to check the numbers in a few days. I think Google yeah. will make them uh, official. But we saw as also OnePlus uh, released the final version of Android yeah. of Android Oreo on yeah. the OnePlus uh, 5T. So it's one more device that yeah. is. Running Hopefully, Oreo. more manufacturers will adopt this at least the system uh, Project 12 from Google. Yeah, um, that will at least. Uh, yeah loosen or fasten the process up because all these kind of, I would say it's comparable with Windows drivers um, system. So all the chipset stuff can be handled by the chipset manufacturers and they're pushing out the updates and on top the software yeah. will be handled by so Google or for the manufacturers. Should be faster. Yeah, it I should mean, be faster. It is uh, actually... But it depends on how it is act, uh, included in Android 8.0, but it's up to the manufacturers to activate that. Yeah. So, so we just have to hope that the manufacturer will uh, uh, just put more effort on this yeah. really, really important uh, aspect. I think on uh, AndroidPit.com, we have got also an article about which smartphones supports Android uh, the Project Trouble uh, mm. and which have it but it's not really? activated. Yeah. 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 But we saw also that Honor uh, just confirmed uh, Android Oreo. The rollout started at least in mm -hmm. Western Europe, so also in UK. Yeah. Uh, for the Honor 9 and Honor 8 Pro. Yeah. And Huawei is pretty good, at least with the, the, the phones, uh, the new phones, uh, at least uh, just arrived directly with Oreo. Mm. And then we don't know about, uh, I mean, we are sure that the P10, for example, will get the update, but yeah. still not sure about the time. But there was a, a, a small, okay, let's try to avoid stuff. The Honor 8 will get an EMUI 8.0 feature update, which doesn't mean that you will get Android 8.0 yeah. Oreo on it, but at least the uh, some of the features of the EMUI system there. And honestly, the Honor 8 is two years old. The Honor 8 is almost two years almost old. Almost not yet. Almost two years old. There are other manufacturers, and I have to say that the, it's HTC, for instance, they have updated um, the HTC 10, which is yeah. also two years old with Oreo officially, and it's running pretty good. Yeah, I'm afraid that if Honor will not update the Honor 8 to Oreo, probably also the Huawei P9 will not receive it. That's what I think, but let's see, we don't have any official statement at the moment about that. But yeah. It's some kind of official <laughs> statement if they're saying EMUI 8.0 Feature it's just a nice way yeah, yeah, <laughs> to, to present it to the users, just yeah. to avoid them to get mad. 
But anyway, I think that the, the, the thing that you can do, if you really want to try the, the new uh, Android uh, uh, version feature, it's just go for a Google phone, <laughs> which is a mm. pixel. Mm. I mean, at, at least you will be the first one to try them out. Yeah, yeah, that can be. Yeah. But then you have to pay more. Yeah, then you have to pay more. Plus, of course, the Pixel like are available in US and so on, but not in every country. So not every Android user will be, will have the pleasure to try the Google yeah. phones. At least they are not able to find them like in the official store, but they have to go through uh, online channels and so on. So it's more complicated anyway. But it is Android. It's the good thing <laughs> to have an open uh, source platform. So, uh, yeah. so that's what we have to deal with every day. Yeah. But for today, your final, words? Hmm? your final words, just uh, wait, <laughs> but <laughs> don't look at Apple as the best choice. It's a really good example talking about, uh, of course, software updates. But as you know, in Android, there are a lot of uh, really interesting uh, features and that uh, you should uh, try out. Yeah, somehow. But it's up to you. You are a drone yeah. people out there who can decide by yourself if it's iOS or Android, if it's uh, worth spend a thousand uh, US it's a dollars budget, on a it's, also it's about your uh, taste. Yeah, it's a about budget taste. your special needs. Yeah, because um, talking about design at the end, I mean, uh, all the phones are looking almost the same. And also the future, of, of course, we have like a different way how the different manufacturers decide to optimize them, to implement them in every single phone. But like the latest flagship anyway are running almost uh, the same thing. So we have the Face ID that you will find it in different phones with a different version, of course, but still the fingerprint sensor and so on that is moving <laughs> from the back to the front. So just from choose the side the, to the back. <laughs> from the side to the back, which is a big change <laughs> for some at least. So just choose the one that you like more and yeah. that's it. I would say you can uh, still discuss um, the after policies in our articles in the comment sections or in our forum um, and discuss it. We can also ditch in and uh, say what we are thinking. And if you have got, as Jesse said, somehow playing the game and telling us what kind of smartphone you are using and yeah. what kind of Android you are using with what, car, uh, what status of the security patch level, I post it also in, in the comments and I leave the final words up to you and shut up. <laughs> yeah, so if you like our video, just put a like. Don't remember, don't, don't forget to check out our website and see you next week. Bye.